I, I think this is a very helpful uh, note that, that you know, Hebrews is actually teaching us how to read the Psalms. This is how we read the Psalms. Hebrews is showing us that the Psalms are primarily not about us. I know the Psalms are really personal. We love the Psalms. But, but the Psalms are primarily not about us. You know, so hear me out. The, the Psalms are not primarily about us because they're primarily about God's King. That's who the Psalms is, are about. The Psalms are primarily about God's King ultimately fulfilled in Jesus Christ. You know, he is the promised King that the Psalter points to. That's why I say the Psalms are not primarily about us, but they're primarily about the King fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So, so when we come to the Psalms, the, the first question we ask is, what does it say about me? It's, it's not what, what does it say about me, right? Otherwise, we get to a Psalm like Psalm 22, and, and we get a bit puzzled, right? You know, my God, my God, how have you forsaken me? You know, it's very strong language in Psalm 22. You know, how does that apply to us? So, so f- the first thing we need to do when we come to the Psalms is to ask this question, how is this Psalm fulfilled in Jesus Christ? How does it point me to the promised king? And then, only if we understand how the psalm is fulfilled in Christ, do we apply it to ourselves as followers of the king. That's how we're meant to read the psalms. We understand how the psalms point us to King Jesus. And then, if we are in King Jesus, if we are followers of King Jesus, then the Psalms speak to us as His people, as His followers. So, so that's how we're meant to read the Psalms. So the Psalms are really Jesus' prayer book. Right? The, the Psalms are Jesus' words to God and God's words to His Son. That's essentially what the book of Psalms is about. 